Hello everyone, welcome to Begmore near Cookstown in County Tyrone. It's been an enigma and a puzzle in this place since it was discovered by peat cutters in the 1940s. Uh, scholars have debated its meaning and purpose and a few theories have emerged. The one I favour is backed up by modern astroarchaeology and the recent study of uh, Irish oak tree rings, ancient oaks. Firstly, here's the known pieces of the puzzle. Neolithic farmers got here and uh, this was a massive silver birch forest. So they cleared a few acres here and set up their homestead. And then around 2300 BC these monuments were built on top of the existing farmland. There's places you can still see the old field boundary walls underneath the site. Seven circles in all, six of which are paired, for example this one, that one, have associated cairn here. Twelve cairns in all. Uh, there's also ten stone rows. You can see this one here, for example. Go straight towards that cairn there. They're running uh, roughly east west. But there's no significant accurate alignments. Also bone fragments from a few individuals found here in four of the cairns. Uh, I'm not sure which four. Most of the others were empty uh, except for two. One contained a polished stone axe head which had been deliberately broken. Uh, another one contained what was described as a branch from an oak tree. The mystery deepens. When the Neolithic farmers got here, as I say, this was a huge birch forest. They managed to clear a few acres here to establish their farms. Seemingly prospered for many generations up into the early Bronze Age. Then one day, out of a clear blue sky, around 2300 BC, the bombardment of Earth begins. Comet Enki has just suffered a massive breakup relatively close to Earth, sending thousands of meteors towards us, some a few meters across, some a few tens of meters across, and a few way bigger than that. So back to the Neolithic farmers. Hundreds of exploding meteors are coming in, air bursts. Of course everybody's terrified. To give you some idea of what an airburst meteor looks like, here's some footage from 2013 in Chenyablinsk, Russia.
the first night of the bombardment, the skies are ablaze with shooting stars. These people knew the night sky well, sun, the moon, planets. This new sky god, this new sky god was malevolent. But what can they do? Hours turn into days, days turn into weeks. Still the meteors keep coming in. By this time there's so much dust and debris in the atmosphere that it's starting to block out the sun, turn summer into winter. So in desperation these Bronze Age farmers built this monument as a type of appeasement I guess to this new tyrant in the sky. Have a look at the site from the air. You see these cairns all look like meteors and the tails show the direction of travel. The one on the far right even looks like it has an impact crater. <laughs> Could this lone circle be depicting an airburst meteor? So the weeks pass and still the meteors keep coming in. The sky's still grey and it's still getting colder. What now for the farmers? Sacrifices must be made. That polished stone axe head, deliberately broken and buried under a cairn. That's a sacrifice. What was described as an oak branch. Could be that sacred oak staff that belonged to your great grandfather. Broken and buried in the cairn. That's another sacrifice. Now four of the cairns did contain the remains of a few individuals, including children. Um, There's always a potential for human sacrifice in prehistoric times, especially in times of great trauma, but it's not a conclusion I like to jump to too quickly because there's, there's absolutely no evidence for it here. Uh, these poor souls could have been killed by an airburst or perhaps a reef fell in on them. We'll never know for sure. So what now? Some of your loved ones are dead. Your farm's finished because of the climate. All your efforts to change things back to the way they were, bring back the sun and the moon, have all failed. And still it grows colder. I guess your hunger's going to need uh, drive your need to survive in that case, and uh, you'd have to take up the ways of the nomadic hunter-gatherer and just hope that uh, one day the sun will return. So this place is abandoned. Slowly but surely the blanket bog comes in and covers the whole thing up for thousands of years. So that's my version. I must stress my version of the comet theory. <laughs> Uh, it is broadly supported by rec recent astro-archaeological evidence which found uh, that there was a catastrophic environmental event that happened in Syria around the same time. And also, as I said at the start, a study of ancient Irish oak tree rings which also showed a significant uh, and quick drop in climate around uh, 2300 BC-ish. I think we should look at these monuments uh, as a warning from the past, really. Comet Enki is still out there, orbiting the sun every 3.3 .3 years. It's a lot smaller than it used to be back 4,000 years ago, but 
still potentially dangerous, you know. When we see the shooting stars, known as the Torrids, we're actually passing through Comet Enki's tail debris. Ironically, Begmore is a good place to watch the Torrids. Uh, watch the whole Milky Way, in fact. This area has just been recently designated as a, an official dark sky park. Uh, most clear nights now you'll find hardy stargazers and astrophotographers here. Just starting to get a few more visitors now, so... I think that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel get out there. Don't forget to post your own theories and ideas regarding Begmore in the comments below. Always interested to read them. Um, so in the meantime, hopefully see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye for now.